Good morning friends and welcome back to Trans India Real People Real Emotions I am Girish Mirchandani and today we continue our interaction with Mr Satish Sharma President of Apollo Tires for Asia Pacific Middle East and Africa regions and the current chairman of Automotive Tire Manufacturers Association But before that let's take a look at how the government is moving ahead at a very fast pace with infrastructure development breaking records and setting new benchmarks but at the same time let's also take a look at how truck drivers are being treated on these so called world class highways at the lakhanpur toll plaza in jammu a truck driver mohammad asif was beaten up for questioning illegal entry fee kai states aise hain jo illegal entry fee collect karte hain truck se kuch mahine pehle tak hum madhya pradesh ke bare mein sunte the ki har ek check post par entry fees ली जाती है और कोई रिसीव नहीं दिया जाता है हमने ये भी सुना था कि वहाँ पर ड्राइवर्स को गालियाँ दी जाती हैं लेकिन अब तक कोई ऐसा केस नहीं आया जहाँ पर ड्राइवर को बेरहमी से मारा गया हो मोहम्मद आसिफ को लखनपुर टोल प्लाजा पर बेरहमी से मारा गया और उनके सर पर काफ़ी चोटें आई हैं हमारे पास खून से लथपत मोहम्मद आसिफ की वीडियोज़ भी हैं जो हमें भेजी गई हैं लेकिन हम उन्हें यहाँ पर प्ले नहीं करेंगे जम्मू एंड कश्मीर ट्रांसपोर्ट एसोसिएशन के मेंबर मौका वारदात पर पहुंचे उन्होंने मोहम्मद आसिफ को मेडिकल ट्रीटमेंट दी जम्मू एंड कश्मीर ट्रांसपोर्ट एसोसिएशन के मेंबर्स लोकल एसपी से भी मिले और काफ़ी मेहनत के बाद एक एफआईआर आई लॉन्च किया गया लेकिन अब भी एक सवाल जो रह जाता है वो ये है कि ट्रक ड्राइवर्स को इस तरीके से क्यों ट्रीट किया जाता है किसने हक दिया है अथॉरिटीज़ को कि वो ट्रक ड्राइवर के साथ हाथापाई कर सके ट्रक ड्राइवर्स को मार सके कल ही मैं फरीदाबाद से गुजर रहा था जहां मैंने देखा एक ट्रक ड्राइवर एक कांस्टेबल के सामने हाथ जोड़कर खड़ा हुआ था चाहे कुछ भी गलती हो या गलती ना भी हो ऐसा क्यों है कि ट्रक ड्राइवर्स के साथ ऐसा सुलूक किया जाता है वाई इज इट दैट द पुलिस इज ट्रीटिंग द ट्रक ड्राइवर्स इन सच अ टेरेबल मैनर वी कीप से देर इज अ शॉर्टेज ऑफ ट्रक ड्राइवर्स बट मोर देन एनी एल्स द मेन रीजन इज दिस काइंड ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट ऑन द हाईवेज अगर हम चाहते हैं कि रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट इंडस्ट्री और देश की इकोनॉमी आगे बढ़े हमें देखना होगा कि ड्राइवर्स के साथ हाईवे पर सही सुलूक किया जाए हम ये नहीं कहते कि उनके लिए महल खड़े करो बट कम से कम उन्हें इंसान की तरह तो ट्रीट करो I sincerely hope that the government, not just in the center but also in the states, takes this up very seriously and takes strict action against any official using violence or abusive language against the truck drivers they are the backbone of this country's economy and let me repeat that every meal you eat every piece of cloth that you wear everything that you use is carried by a truck driver at some point or the other so let's treat him as a human being use ek insaan ki tarah treat kare ये हमारी दरख्वास्त है गवर्नमेंट के हर एक ऑफिशियल से गवर्नमेंट के हर एक डिपार्टमेंट से कमिंग टू द हाईवेज ओवर द इयर्स द हाईवे मैन ऑफ इंडिया मिस्टर नितिन गडकरी हैज बीन सेटिंग न्यू टारगेट्स फॉर रोड कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड इन द प्रोसेस आल्सो सेटिंग अप न्यू रिकॉर्ड्स एंड ब्रेकिंग एग्जिस्टिंग रिकॉर्ड्स अर्लियर दिस वीक इंडिया ब्रोक द गिनीज वर्ल्ड रिकॉर्ड फॉर द लॉन्गेस्ट पीस ऑफ एसफॉल्ट कॉन्क्रीट लेड कंटिन्यूसली लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट दिस अचीवमेंट
I am very happy today because our team has created one more world record. I congratulate the entire team of NHAI consultant and contractor Rajput Infracom Private Limited from Pune on accomplishing this Guinness World Record. 720 workers including team of independent consultants work day and night to complete this task. I have been informed that nearly 35% of work is completed on this stage from Amravati to Akola and nearly 65% in Akola to Chikli section. Therefore, with this achievement, there will be a great relief to commuters, the movement of traffic will be smooth and travel time will be reduced. I am very happy to say that you have completed 42.2 kilometers complete karun, ek Navin record set. Ke lai. Congratulations! And as we at Guinness World Records say, you are officially amazing. We are all aware that infrastructure development has been Mr. Gadkari's forte and in the process, India has achieved many milestones. Breaking the Guinea's world record for the longest piece of asphalt concrete laid continuously is no mean feat and Mr. Gadkari was surely a happy man. Here is what he had to say on this achievement. I am very happy today because our team has created one more world record. I congratulate the entire team of NHAI, consultant and contractor Rajput Infracom Private Limited from Pune on accomplishing this Guinness World Record. NHAI on the occasion of the Azadi Ki Amrut Mohotso, announced by Honorable Prime Minister of India Sri Narendra Modi ji, successfully completed a Guinness World Record by constructing 75 km continuous bituminous concrete in single lane on NH53 between Amrauti to Akola. The total length of the 75 km single lane continuous bituminous concrete road is equivalent to 37.5 km of two lane paved shoulder road and the work started on 3rd June 2022 at 7.27 am and completed on 7 June 2022 at 5 pm Total time taken is 105 hours and 33 minutes. The bitumen mix of 36,634 metric tons consisting of 2,070 metric ton of bitumen was used. 80 tippers, 5 batch mixers, plants, 5 batch mixer plants, 1 sensor paver with hopper along with 1 stand by paver and 8 rollers were used in this activity. 720 workers including team of independent consultants work day and night to complete this task. Earlier, the Guinness record for the longest stretch of bituminous concrete laid continuously was for 25.275 km road and this was achieved by Public Works Authority Ashugal in Doha, Qatar on 27 February 2019. The road was part of the Al Khor Expressway and took 10 days to complete the task. Amrauti to Akola section is a part of National Highway 53, which is an important east-west corridor. It connects major cities like Kolkata, Raipur, Nagpur, Akola, Dhule, Surat. It passes through the mineral-rich region of our country. I have been informed that nearly 35% of work is completed on this stretch from Amrauti to Akola and nearly 65% in Akola to Chikli section. Therefore, with this achievement, there will be a great relief to commuters, the movement of traffic will be smooth and travel time will be reduced. On the occasion of Azadi Ki Amrut Mohotso, I once again congratulate 
all the engineers from NHI, contractor Mr. Jagdish Kadam from Rajput Infracom Private Limited, consultants, all the workers and the machine operators for achieving this world record. I look forward to see the work from Amrauti to Akola is completed by the end of 2022. Once again, my best wishes to all of you for this Guinness Book of World Record. Thank you very much. Namaskar. Bharat Mata Ki Jai. With the road network getting better and also the vehicles undergoing a lot of change in load as well as other performance parameters, there is a lot going on in the tyre industry as well. Last week, we heard Mr. Satish Sharma talk about changes in the tyres and the industry. This week, we talked to him on a couple of controversial subjects related to the tyre industry. Cartelization and anti-dumping duty on imported tyres is something that has always been under the scanner by the transport industry. Mr. Sharma clears the air on these subjects in a very frank discussion. Coming up after this very short break, part 2 of our interaction with Mr. Satish Sharma. Stay tuned and continue watching Trans India. Real people, real emotions. Mahindra ye guarantee dete hain ki unka Blazo X sabse zyada mileage deta hai. Warna kar dijiye truck Cut. wapas. Sorry Ajay, Mahindra Furio hai. Action! Mahindra guarantee dete hain ki unka Furio sabse zyada mileage deta hai. Nahi to Actually, Jayo. Mahindra Jayo hai. Thoda change hai. And action! Mahindra ye guarantee dete hain ki unka Jayo sabse... Chal kya raha hai yaha pe? Ma'am, ye charo truck zyada mileage dete hain. Charo! To aisa bolo na. Blazo X, Furio, Furio 7 aur Jayo. Mahindra ke ye sabhi trucks dete hain sabse zyada mileage ki guarantee. Nahi to kar dijiye inhe wapis. Mahindra, desh ki sabse zyada mileage dene wali truck range. Welcome back friends to Trans India, real people, real emotions. We continue our interaction with Mr. Satish Sharma, President Apollo Tires. Is Apollo Tires working on a leasing model as well for its customers? I would not call working on a lease model as such, but uh, what I feel is that given that there is a technological revolution around us, uh, and there is a lot of data today that can be captured. Now, that will lead to a emergence of several new business models. Leasing could be one of them. But it will be, be how you capture that data and how do you convert that data into, into a business model which creates value for the end user, which creates value for the company, the retailer, everyone. So, whichever company is going to be successful in uh, managing all these intersections and come out with models which will make sense. Those are the ones which will succeed. Otherwise, these age-old dated CPKM and all have not unfortunately worked so far in, our, in the industry, not just in India, anywhere. But earlier there was no technology uh, which, which could assist. So the concept was always there. So I am optimistic that the, the, the future uh, will bring in the emergence of various models which will, which will change the way uh, the tires are consumed, sold, serviced and so on and so forth. <laughs> well, Mr. Sharma, any particular model that seems to be working well for Apollo tires? Yeah, we are always working, like I said. We are always in a transition to your earlier question. And uh, uh, when we have the right product and we want to do it differently. See, we have a unique advantage of these. We got these 100 CV zones. We made 100 CV, nobody has. And they are great service outlets. And like I said, the service is going to be the... so. And this 100 number is always expanding. There are more people who want to join our network. Uh, so we are looking at how do we get the trucks into these service zones and uh, use all this data, science of data. How do we embed a sensor in our tire, which will be able to do all the magic with the data that I'm speaking about. How does all that intersection happen? So we're working in all those things. Mr. Sharma, as president of the Automotive Tire Manufacturers Association, what is your agenda for your tenure? Yeah, I mean, uh, the agenda is uh, 
just th th I will while there are probably more but sharply there are three topics that I would want to or, or we are as a team working on first is there is uh, a lot of regulations which are coming in the tire industry uh, again like BS4 to BS6 so simultaneously there is a uh, uh, there is something called AIS 142, there is tire labeling on the cards. So my uh, idea would be to work with the government so that all voices are heard and an effective uh, policy formulation happens. So these are currently in the draft stages. And how do we make sure that we make progressive policies and which are married to the current reality of the country and, uh, and we keep on improving. So work with the government on that front. So that's one priority that we have. The second is that when I was in my first, uh, uh, first time when I had become Atma chairman four years back, we had just about started talking to the government on tire could be a poster child for exports. And uh, that time we didn't have this $400 billion target which we achieved last year. And uh, since then, tire exports have been, and we made out a thought paper, we showed it to the government that how, uh, because we are the most mature tire uh, industry in our country, we should be very proud of our tire industry. Not only the four Indian players, but also today all the global players are uh, manufacturing in India. So, and very few countries, Frank, quite honestly have that. And where, where products can be made to scale and now that the vehicle technology is at par with the rest of the world, we could be a very strong exporting potential from our country. So the tire exports have been going up. My agenda would be to talk to the government and work with the government to, uh, to, to align with them and to enable this to live to its potential. So that's the second agenda uh, that I would have. And third is government is pursuing a very serious self-sufficiency on, on natural rubber, which, which is in deficit in our country. So it's about deficit by 35-40% of the consumption. So currently it's produced only in Kerala and government is trying to produce it in northeastern states. And there's already a strong project supported by the tire industry. So how do we make sure that we could accelerate that, we could work more on, on, on that, on this dimension to, to make sure that our natural rubber production capacity increases and this deficit reduces. So those are the three sharp priorities. So is Atma talking to the government on the prices of rubber or for that matter even fuel? Atma has quite honestly no role to play in, uh, in any of the... Rubber prices? No, I mean... Atma has no role. Atma's only role is to uh, is to is to provide a platform where effective policy making could could be uh, could could happen with the government to give our point of view uh, so that government can can make uh, enabling policies for the industry. So that's that's one role. Of course, it works with the rubber board. Uh, in, in ensuring that there is transparency, there is a free market, etc. Uh, you know, g give information on the tire production statistics and things like that, which will enable the, uh, the producing stakeholder to know what is needed by the tire industry in terms of quality, in terms of uh, technology and how we can support. So, those are the kind of areas that Atma works on, but it, it cannot do anything to support uh, prices either of rubber or of the finished product. Mahindra, ye guarantee dete hain ki unka Blazo X sabse zada mileage deta hai, warna kar dijiye truck Sorry Ajay, Mahindra Furio hai. Action. Mahindra guarantee dete hain ki unka Furio sabse zada mileage deta hai. Nahi to. Actually Jayo, Mahindra Jayo hai. Thoda change hai and. Mahindra ye guarantee dete hain ki unka Jio sabse chal kya raha hai yahan pe Ma'am ye charo truck zyada mileage dete hain charo To aisa bolo na Blazo X Furio Furio 7 aur Jio Mahindra ke ye sabhi trucks dete hain sabse zyada mileage ki guarantee nahi to kar dijiye inhe wapas Mahindra desh ki sabse zyada mileage dene wali truck range Mr. Sharma, the tyre industry has always been accused of working in a cartel. How fair is this accusation? 
yeah it's very unfair <laughs> <laughs> the the uh, i have now worked three decades in this industry and i i can only say that uh, all of us the entire denizens the, all the citizenry of our country needs to be very proud of our tire industry it supported the country very well in the automotive revolution which has happened in the country it's ahead of the curve it's uh, it's it's uh, got a huge exporting potential we give you the best quality tires that you get uh, around the world and we need to be uh, really really very proud of this this fact uh, as far as this cartel allegation is concerned i want to deal with it slightly give you some facts uh the, the 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 fact is that the profitability of the industry in our country is is uh, inversely proportional to the raw material movement you know so when the cost of the raw material goes up our profitability uh literally tanks down because and and vice versa and when the raw material comes down the prices also do not come down in the same it takes time so we are not able to pass the cost when the raw material goes up uh, at the speed at which the raw material so there is always the margin pressure and when it comes down it it takes time to uh, for the prices to depending on the competition the competitive competition takes on eventually and it takes time so that's the i mean you can take out any year when the raw material has gone up and look at the margins of the so if there was a cartel that should not be the case you know we will, i mean the, the, we should be able to deal with this uh, yeah. this issue but we are not able to so that shows only that there is fair play uh, it's completely market led uh, market forces are the only forces which decide uh, and the value that we are able to provide to the end user the end user therefore decides whether i want to go with brand a b c d and that's the way it should be So, what is your stand on import of tires? This again is a very contentious issue, and the transport industry has always been talking about this. Our stance is again uh, rather simple. It's a very highly capex-intensive in industry, uh, and we have invested for the country for exporting made in India for the world. Uh, we are self sufficient one of the industries which we can proudly say that india is self sufficient atmanirbhar 100% uh, totally localized uh, earlier days we used to take technology from our european today every tire company has got its own technology there i don't think there's anybody uh, with a technology collaboration so uh, all that we always ask is fair play that when there is a fair play so if people want to use our big market our ours is perhaps the only last big market in the world uh and if people want to use that this big market to dump their products it's unfair so what we are saying is that everybody is welcome best is if you produce in the country let there be as many producers in the country we are not stopping anybody to come from outside and come and produce in our country and even if you want to import import at fair play prices but when dumping happens then we obviously uh, it 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 spoils the structure of the all our capexes that we have put get to risk and uh, inferior quality products come in and it's a safety product so while we try to explain all these points given the apathy to the product which we discussed earlier on people do not understand that so our this is our so called view on imports that so long as it's fair play and everybody's Uh, and there is no dumping. Imports are welcome. However, having said that, the manufacturing is so strong in our country for tyres. There is hardly any space for imports. I mean, there is no need. No need there is there is no felt need, except the felt need is dumping. So that's what the trade would always uh, try to say that you know, and the customer would say, "Can I get something?" So we say, do not abuse our market. to to dump products from anywhere from the world mr sharma how do you see the future of the tire industry and how is apollo tires preparing itself to cater to this future so tire industry is uh, i feel the automotive is going undergoing a technological revolution i yesterday i was listening to one of the world economic forum talks and there was and somebody said that 
I think it was PayPal's CEO, which said that everything is a tech world today, not just the tech companies. Everybody is using digitalization. Each company is a tech company. So there's a lot of tech play which is likely to happen in our industry. Automotive is going through a revolution. We are at we, we have to follow that and and go ahead. Uh, there's a lot of talk about sustainability and the environment. Tyre has a big role in that direction. Uh, it uses a lot of fossil fuels uh, in the production, in the raw material, uh, uh, and and therefore there is a there is a scope to to so we we have to commit to carbon neutrality. So that's an area of uh, area of work. But I am rather optimistic about the tyre industry in India, which is doing uh, a good job and uh, and moving uh, ahead of the curve on, on many of these uh, dimensions. The OEMs, if you were to see, they are all very happy with the tyre industry in India. It's we have hardly been the case cause of any of their troubles. It could be semiconductor sometime, it could be forgings and castings at another other stage. But the tyres industry is always put in capacity, capex ahead of the automotive and at times when the auto is not grown and we have put the capacity and we have had to suffer. But uh, that's been the case uh, with the tyre industry. Apollo tyres in particular I would say is invested largely in uh, R&D, uh, more than its peers and it's also reaped the benefits of, uh, of, of those investments. So our investments are more to our R&D, to our brand, uh, to make sure that uh, we produce products and position them properly and add value to our end users. Do you think the scrapping policy will help sales of tires as well? The scrapping policy for the vehicles? The yeah, I mean, see, it'll be, it'll, it, over time it will ensure that new vehicles come on road and the fleets are modernized. Uh, and, and to that extent, there will be a slight bump up of the uh, uh, vehicle production and therefore the need for tires. So it's, it's, it's an organic. I don't see it as, a, as, a, as a something very steep, but definitely it does help. Well, friends, that's it from Trans India this week. Next week, we shall be talking to two youngsters who have made valuable contributions to the transport industry with their involvement in the Transport Association. They are the brand ambassadors of change that is required in the transport industry. To so make sure you watch our episode next week. But before you go, don't forget to subscribe to Trans India. Real people, real emotions. And until next week, stay safe. Jai Hind.